Let's see, what time is What are you time yet? <clears throat> One more minute. Hey John, when your when your daughter sees a bear, let me know. Okay, we seen one over here. Yeah, but... I, I believe it in the backyard, like. Yeah, yeah, well, it was right down by my barn. According, my wife said she saw it at night, and it. Just... I mean, you got a lot. You got a lot of woods back in there, right? Yeah. Oh, you're not kidding. Yeah. A lot of it. It's all wood back there. I guess we got enough for the meeting. Four people here now. Yep. I see Ian was uh, going to uh, try to get on the phone if he had the time, but I'm not sure he'll make it, but we'll hope, hope he can get on, on the telephone, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think he said he was running between some uh, sport sporting events for his kids. Yeah. So he might join us a little bit late if he's able to get on. Mm -hmm. uh, I've got I've got five grandkids, and that's all I do is attend their sporting events. Oh. <laughs> and two or three on, uh, on Saturday, two or three, and all over Eastern Connecticut. Oh wow! <laughs> this is a good thing. It is. It's perfect. Yeah. No, I, I got five great athletes. Well, it should be. I think it's time, isn't it? Uh, my watch says we're it's after time. Yep. It's like six, uh, seven. Yeah, oh. I have seven to one on the computer. Okay. Why don't we get started then? Uh, I'll call the meeting to order. Uh, we don't have any alternates, so we don't have to worry about seating anybody. Uh, uh, are there any addition or <clears throat> to in order of the agenda and i know that uh, we've got one and uh, we'll let isabel tell us about that yes so i'd like to add i'm just looking for the number here um iwwc 2324-29 under new business yep. uh, it's an application by the town of columbia to do some repair work in the lake there's a a drainage pipe in the cove, which is right adjacent to the, the town beach, which has had some very significant erosion coming out of it uh, as with the rain that we've had this year, as many drainage pipes have and, and swales as well. Um, it, the erosion is significant. There's buildup of sediment in that area in general, which I know has caused a problem for some of the, the residents that live there. Um, and then now between that and the erosion, there's concern over one of the, the private docks that's there, which is being affected by the water coming off of the, the town road. So uh, they would like to do some work to, to mitigate that if possible before the, the lake is drawn up. Okay. And can we act on that tonight? So it is an application um, in front of the commission I, I did look through our regulations to see if we had any kind of provisions for emergency repair work, and I, I haven't been able to find anything. Um, technically, the, the commission residents in town have the right for 14 days to petition the commission to hold a public hearing on any application that they receive. So oh, the way that the statute is wit written, we really should wait. Okay. Um, I know it's a time sensitive matter, so I think that um, you know the, the commission does have a lot of discretion here and we can kind of see um, in the discussion uh, what everyone on the commission feels is best. I know that we have uh, the director of public works, Beth Lunt, is here with us tonight to discuss okay. her plans for the project. Um, I believe Steve Everett might be here as well. Um, I think I saw him briefly, so we can have a, a greater discussion about the timing and the current state of the lake and lake drawdown um, as we go over the application. Okay, very good. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so that is... Isabel? Yes. There also will need to be, and we can do this in partnership, an LMAC review being this is on the lake bed. 
to advise the board, which obviously the board already has advised us, but just right. to be within the regulations. Okay, so we can get that application in as well um, for Monday's or Wednesday's Wednesday. Meeting. Sorry about that. Okay, very good. I'll ask Jennifer to add it to the agenda. Okay. Very good. Okay, uh, any communications or correspondence? Can I just speak on the erosion? Absolutely. So basically, we're really under a time crunch um, with the anticipated rainfall. The lake already is at four foot, um, and we're likely to get four inches of rain, which would bring the water up almost to where we couldn't do the work if we put it off for 14 days. And it would have to wait till we'd either have to draw the lake down again in April or wait to the following year, which could compromise the Egan's dock. Uh, can we get around this by making it an administrative approval? Um, I, I think potentially if the commission members were comfortable with that um, voting on it, the way that the statute is written for allowances of administrative approvals, it is um, for work that is not directly in a in a wetland or water course. Um, but like I said, I think that the commission may technically have some discretion here. It, it really is a matter of allowing the, the public the potential to request a, a public hearing to have discussion on this. Um, okay. So so you think we it's been right? it's something that I the commission has done in the past um, to allow work in close proximity to the lake or um, in the lake for relatively emergent situations um, and time sensitive situations. So I, I think that that's something potentially to consider. Hey, yeah, I think if as long as it's an emergency type uh, situation, we should be able to approve it tonight. Okay, uh, so we don't have any communication or correspondence. Audience of citizens, anybody want to say anything out there? Nope. Hey, okay. hey John. Yeah. Yeah, Stephen Everett. Oh, Steve, um, yeah. First selectman. I, I say that for your record. Sure, hey, listen, you. Uh, you know, it's this has uh, come to my attention. Um, I'll be honest with you, came to my attention last year. And it really came to my attention this year with the pleading of the Egan's to take a real hard look at the drainage and what it's doing. And it's, it's actually eroded probably six to eight inches of lake bottom right up above their dock um, pylons and stuff. And there's there's real danger that they may lose a pylon and, uh, you know, kind of wash their dock, do some extensive damage. Um it is time of the essence. We we finally came to a, an <laughs> agreement on how we can manage this, but it means getting in there and, and um, really diverting the water from the exit of the pipe away from their dock. But it means getting in there soon and, and being able to do that. So uh, I hope the board will, will look favorably upon that. And, um, you know, Beth Lunt and I and... We've looked at this and she's come up with a solution. I like the solution is not to do any harm around any part of that area, just diverting the water away from the dock and to smooth out the erosion area. So, uh, you know, if the board can find it within the reason to do this, I would um, greatly appreciate and uh, be very happy to get this done sooner than later. Okay, thank you, Steve. John? Yeah. Would we be allowed to pause the agenda and shift right to this? Obviously, yeah, we've heard from Beth and Steve, there is a no, sense of urgency. Exactly. There may be a number of questions. Is, would Robert Rules around a motion to move the agenda or make this a priority agenda item now? Definitely. Uh, as a matter of yeah, fact, it, new it, business doesn't, now. it doesn't sound like the the item we're discussing, number one, is going to take long at all. Well, there are some long. questions that have come up. 
Yeah. Well. Okay. Well, let's go. Let's go to the uh, lake now. Um, from the picture that I have, I have from Krog, uh, and I'm not a big swimmer, so I'm not, I'm not really sure where the beach is. Uh, in this picture, are we looking at the Egan House? Correct. To your okay, left. And where is the is beach? The... To the right. To your left. It's to my left. Correct. Where it says 100 feet. Where it says 164 feet, looking at the Krog map. Um, if you well, have no, the okay, I'm, uh, this this map is kind of messed up because the writing is upside down. The the numbers are right. Okay, it's to the left, and that that is the beach uh, to the right there. Oh, I to mean, your to the right. Left, to the left is the beach. Correct. Right, okay. If you're looking at and the this is a, map. Uh, yeah, okay. And this is basically a uh, <clears throat> what we're doing is uh, putting in uh, a riprap and uh, to a sizable uh, to a proper length. And the size of the riprap should be uh, large enough to uh, take care of the velocity and, and reduce it and so forth. Now that's basically, I think, what this uh, this item Correct. does. Would you, would you characterize this as a swale, Beth? It's more of a velocity dissipator. It's going to be a half moon type yeah, shape. So it's it slows down the velocity, the velocity of the incoming velocity. water. So where is this water coming from? Out of the pipe. Uh, it, it's a pipe that's. Correct. correct me if I'm wrong, Beth. It's a pipe from that's Hennequin good. and Lake Road. Right. Hennequin and Lake. Is it on town property or on the Egan's property? I believe the, the, the we tried the to Egan access property. it. Yeah, we tried to access it once, but it, we couldn't because we couldn't get to their property. So, so actually, if you're able to see, I'm sharing a, a photo of the area itself from the town taken from the town beach, um, just so everyone can see kind of what we're talking about in person. Um, the pipe itself, Mary, is on the Egan's property. We have a correct. We don't have a formal deeded easement, just a, a prescriptive easement for right. that drainage, which then goes direct and outlets directly into the lake. Um, and as you, everyone knows, with the amount of rainfall we've gotten during Lake Drawdown this year, that erosion was a problem in the previous year, uh, but it's only yeah. gotten, it's just gotten, it's worse. only gotten worse. I we would have say most previous, changes. previous years, the erosion might have been full. Coming in out, Beth. Channelized now. Mm -hmm. Now it's about a foot to two. Yeah, it's obvious. <laughs> yeah, so there's there's okay, um, quite a bit of sediment that gets deposited in this area as well from the town beach. There's this is a, essentially a cove um, right adjacent to it. And then I'm looking. I have a picture of the there it is. Yeah, dock here, so you can see how much erosion um, has happened in this area. And it's as you can see, it's very close to the the footings of the dock here, and that's uh, part of what's sparking the concern. Absolutely. Well, it looks like the uh, system is uh, for velocity dissipation and the plans that you have are uh, adequate to me. Uh, does anybody else have any uh, questions on that? Well, my, my questions were based on experience, some good, some bad on our lake. And just as an FYI for Beth, who's relatively new, we have done these types of quote unquote swales um, uh, and as Beth has characterized them, uh, velocity dissipators. And I just want to ensure, and I'm sure we've worked with an engineer on this, how much are we putting in? What size of rock will be used to minimize long-term washaways? Because we've had two swales, and I will say one done by a private owner with decorative storm after all the rain in December end up in the lake and that was unfortunate. So I just want to ensure we're not using inappropriate stone size. Um, a, the good example is the, uh, at on Erdoni Road, the Botticellos with the uh, wheelers did a beautiful job in their velocity dissipator slash swale um, using a large stone. I think it was greater than 12 inches if I recall. Um, so just FYI, we, we had our, I won't use names. We had previous administrators have us 
put swales in that have ended up in the lake because they didn't use the right size uh, uh, stone. So I, I'm really curious as to how we're going to do this in a layered form where it will be grouted or not so that we can minimize um, this just washing out again. Well, uh, Mary, uh, I, I agree with you. And you're suggesting we have a registered uh, professional engineer, a hydraulic engineer, to look at the size of the uh, stone and the uh, length, depth, and so forth. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. I I, I don't want to delay, but I do want to ensure we do this right short and long term. If we have to, if we have to get an engineer, um, this won't be done. Yeah, the lake, is, the lake is coming up quickly, very yeah. quickly. We, we risk an unintended consequence of this will be temporary. Uh, that's just my point. Yeah. And that your point's valid. It's just this actually the velocity dissipator will be placed on the lake bed because the, the pipe ends at a head wall that is submerged when the lake sure. is full. Yeah. So it's going to be on the lake bed. It is. And yeah. we're planning on using 16 inch riprap. Um, Bigger the better. But again, if you, <laughs> if we have a rain event where we get four inches of rain in six hours and the lake's drawn yeah. down, that riprap might move. Right. There's, if the lake is full, it's not moving. But when it's drawn down, you definitely could have movement. Will you layer it, Beth, with small stone to large stone or will it be grouted? It won't be grouted. It'll be all large stone compacted in to kind of bite to each other. Cool. That's really the best way to do it. Right. Cool. And, I, and I, the, the, the precipitation forecast, at least that I got today, is one to two inches max. I hope we don't get four. <laughs> right. Anyway. Well, uh, I'm not saying over the next week there's three events and correct. Uh, there's going to be 20 cubic yards, which I think is an awful lot and should be added. Know. You know, twenty cubic yards is an awful lot of stone. So I think I think it would work. <laughs> I have no doubts. That. When you have a twenty-four inch pipe flowing full at the velocity that it has been, this drawdown period, you need that much material. Exactly. This this is the worst erosion from not only December but we've had 18 inches since January 1st to February 29th on the, on the lake. I have captured by photo this, as well as probably 20 other erosion areas that people, some are complaining about, but this is by far the worst. And I think Beth, you just spoke to it. It's a 24 inch pipe and the intensity of the rain has been crazy. The last storms we've had in the last year. Well, and typically you, you're not getting rain when the lake is drawn down, you're getting snow. So that's <laughs> not typical yeah. either. But there's no climate change. <laughs> Understood. Okay, any other discussion? So I think the only other thing to discuss is just the general um, means of accessing the site and whether or not um, the commission what it would want to impose any specific restrictions and what's really feasible for public works and getting this done. Oh, how uh, can you? <laughs> so for, for everyone, if you can see my site, I believe the access point is somewhere around here. This is the boathouse, I believe, which we recently um, approved being rebuilt. Okay. There's access onto the lake. Beth, is this the right general area? If you Can you see this? Yes. Um, and so this oh, work yeah. would require heavy machinery on the lake bed um, to get the material and, and to get it placed correctly. So um, I, we don't have a, a specific outlined proposal. I, I think if we can have lumber or wood or some other material, depending on, again, what's available um, to help dissipate the load from any machinery going onto the lake bed that would I think that that's what's been done in the past I don't know that any other conditions have been applied to machinery going onto the lake bed 
Isabel, that's correct, at least for the past 19, 20 years, where either corduroy, and that's what has been used in the past, or wood paneling has been put down, so there's no harm to the lake bed. All right, I think that should be a requirement then, absolutely. Beth, is that an issue? I'm sorry, I didn't get that. Uh, in, in allowing, and there's probably three cases I'm aware of, in allowing heavy equipment on the lake, there has been panel or a, a material called corduroy. I remember that in one permit, and it was a long time ago, <clears throat> where the heavy equipment travels over the lake bed on the wood paneling or on the corduroy so that there's no harm of the lake bed. That has been a stipulation in the past. Um, so you get the rift wrapped over there, or the stone over there, and dump it and do what you need to do, probably by hand and move it around with heavy equipment as needed. Is that an issue for, for the town? Well, we don't have anything of that sort, so we would have to look into sourcing that. Okay. It would and be it could just be plywood. Yeah. I, I, I know plywood's plywood. been used. I'm, I'm aware of that plywood's been used. We could definitely use that. <laughs> Thank you. That, then I think we minimize any quote unquote precedent that we have heavy equipment and it wasn't properly used as in the past. I would like to minimize precedent because you're gonna have people come and say, why, why not me? <clears throat> Okay. One, well, who want to fix their stuff? We we already have a permit of someone who wants to fix their stuff, which is the lake bed, which they don't own, but they think they do. Yes, we don't have an application for that for wetlands yet, but I think. Oh, that, I'm uh, sorry. By our we next, have it. Yeah, by our yeah. next meeting, we will. Um, we'll have it for a, LMAC. An okay. LMAC application currently in for some work um, within the lake bed, but correct. Wetlands right. has not received an application. Thank you. Okay, any other comments? Uh, what was my other question? I think I'm good. Okay. If there are no other comments, can we make a motion to accept this? application motion to accept I'll second second I'll second all in favor aye okay so now we got to make a motion to uh accept the uh, no i guess not no okay so that so we uh do we need a motion now to uh, accept the uh, total uh, uh, what should I say? That the wetlands agent make this decision? Yeah, to let the wetland agent make this decision. Administrative approval? Making an, yeah, making an administrative approval. Motion. Okay, I'll second. second. I'll second. Or Ron will. Aye. Raise your hand. Okay, can we see everybody? <laughs> Hi. Hey. All right. So move. All right. <laughs> it's unanimous. Thank you. Okay. All right. Uh, <clears throat> under uh, old business, we have IWWC 2324-27, application of Ron. Mike to build a one car garage and move a driveway at 25 Lake Road. Uh, I know we had a site walk there. Um, you want to fill us in on uh, any more information, uh, Isabel? Sure. Yes. Yeah, so it, it doesn't look like uh, Ron Mike was able to join us tonight. Um, as you said, John, we did have a site walk earlier this month to look at the garage location. It's about roughly 30 feet away from from wetlands on the northern portion of the lot 
um, which is surrounded by a brook that then goes under Lake Road and, and leads into Columbia Lake. Um, the proposal is to add just a, a small one car garage and readjust the existing driveway to, to better suit the addition. Um, this work did require nutrient allocation plan approval. And so there's been a lot of back and forth on that um, between myself, the Z ZEO um, and the contractor. Right now, it looks like the plan approval will be achieved primarily through infiltration on the, the left side of the house, which will capture a portion of the roof and then through some mulched beds. Um, so it won't be extending the, the current proposed limits of disturbance very significantly. Um, and it will capture that additional 10% of runoff. Um, I don't think that there's significant reason for concern that the, the wetlands in the area will be impacted. And that overall, I think that the 10% the improvement of the site will be a benefit. Okay. Any uh, discussion on anything? I I know that uh, the new garage will be 30 feet away from the uh, little creek that we saw. And uh, I think if we take the roof runoff and divert that to a different location, it would uh, be acceptable. And I'm sure uh, Isabel has probably looked into that. Uh, so would you like to comment on that end of it, uh, Isabel, roof runoff from the garage? Yeah, so the, the garage itself, um, part of, I think all of that will be captured based on what we currently have for the nutrient allocation plan, um, as well as a, a good portion of the house. And then that infiltration will be um, right in the area of the, the disturbance being proposed. Um, so I believe everything off of the new impervious surface actually will be captured. Um, and overall, there will be an improvement which is required by the nutrient allocation plan of a 10% reduction of phosphorus runoff from the site. And uh, has the nutrient allocation plan been accepted by you? Yes. Okay, very good. So I guess we're ready to uh, make a summary ruling on this. I, I have one question. Okay. Uh, Isabel, is this uh, this brook that's adjacent to the property, is that the same brook that we were just talking about that runs uh, down by the Egan's? Same no, water? this is, let me see. I believe the one by the Egan's crosses um, before this. I'm not sure if they're, let me see. I can yeah, look this, this one crosses a little higher up the hill than the other one, I guess. Yes, I, I believe so, the unless they're connected, but I, I don't think they are. You don't think they're, they're on opposite the, sides of the, the, uh, the town? There. Yeah. Wait, where is this, this about? It's across the street, yes? This no. is, yes, it's 25 Lake right across from um, Carmen Vance's property. Got it, okay. So not the one on the corner, but right behind that, um, there's a brook that runs across the property uh, and then down past it under Lake Road. Yes, we we did a site visit on the one right at the corner. So this is one up? One right behind it. Yep. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Yes, but when it, when it goes under the road, it then does it take a right angle turn and head down towards the other one? Uh, I think is, it's all in pipe after that. It is, yeah. I, I know that, let me see. I'm looking at Krog now to see because that's I don't actually know the answer to that. Um, well, I it's all right because the they, all they've the already way. designed the, or they've designed the vibrator, the uh, velocity reducer uh, to take care of the water that's coming down. Yes, and this, this work, um, it's adding impervious area, but with the nutrient allocation plan that we have in place, runoff is actually reduced from pre-construction by 10%. Good. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Do you have a, a uh, summary ruling? Uh... Yes. Let me see. Okay. Would you read it, please? I'll share my screen. <clears throat> Uh, 
sorry I just had it up and in the process of <laughs> opening and closing all the photos I lost it uh, <laughs> here we go okay So this is for IWWC 2324-27, the application of Ron Mike of Economy Home Improvements for uh, to construct a one car garage and relocate the driveway at 25 Lake Road. Um, as always with the standard conditions that remain unchanged, the wetlands agent is to be notified 20, 48 hours before commencement of any of the approved activity. Um, the duration of this permit is for two years unless extended by this agency. Silt fence or hay bales will be placed above the site to disturb, uh, to be disturbed to minimize any stormwater runoff to the area. Maintenance practices necessary to assure proper functioning of erosion and sediment controls will be employed, including routine monitoring and removal of sediment repairs if necessary. Um, Controls to be monitored prior to forecasted rain events and after forecasted rain events of three quarters of an inch or greater. Infiltration and mulched beds sufficient to comply with the nutrient allocation plan will be installed and a final plan of all improvements will be submitted prior to project completion. And the applicant, Ron Mike, is assigned the responsibility for implementing the erosion and sediment control plan. Responsibility includes the installation and maintenance of control measures, informing all parties on the construction site of the requirements and objectives of the plan, and notifying the Inland Wetlands Commission Office of any transfer of this responsibility. Okay, thank you. Okay, do I have a motion to uh, accept the uh, summary ruling? I'll make that motion. Second? I'll second. All in favor? Raise your hand. Aye. Aye. So moved. Okay. Very good. Uh, next item is approving the meeting minutes. Do I have a motion to approve the meeting? <laughs> I'll make a motion to approve. Okay. Second. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. So moved. Next item is the um, special site walk meeting minutes of February 17th, 2024. Do I have a motion to approve those? I'll make that motion. Second? I'll second. All in favor, raise your hand. Aye. All I'm abstaining. I'll abstain. I don't believe I was there. Okay. Nope. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> so move. We still have four. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> audience of citizens. Anybody want to say anything? <coughs> nope. <coughs> and uh, commission open discussion. Any uh, discussion that we want to have? If not, we'll go to your administrative reports. Uh, Isabel. Yes. Okay. Uh not too much this month, just one administrative approval uh, for a 12 by 12 screened in porch at, let's see, I believe 126 Route 87. Uh, there is an existing deck there in the area. And so the porch is going to extend off the side of that. It's about 30 or so feet from the lake and it'll just be done on piers because it's, it's quite small. Um, so it's not a lot of erosion or not a lot of uh, <laughs> excavation required. It's not a full foundation or any anything like that. Um, and then the work to comply with the nutrient allocation plan that was required is primarily um, mulched beds, and lawn to mulched bed and some of the roof of the main house has now been captured um, and will be infiltrated in a, a stone dry well. Okay, very good. Okay, uh, do I have a, uh, oh, let's see, 11.1. .1. Oh, okay, uh, uh, do I have a motion to adjourn? Ah, be quick, don't hurry. Yes. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> second. Second. 
<laughs> All in favor, raise your hand. Uh, <laughs> move. Have a good week. Yeah. Oh, the weekend. No, not weekend yet. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we'll see you all soon. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Isabel, I'll catch up.